You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV product reviews. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about some video this week, specifically this guy here. It's the Switronix HDV Pro V camera shoulder support with a V mount plate right back here on the back. Now this guy here is $330 and let me just sort of walk through this. So the name of the game when you're shooting video is stability and flexibility. And so this right here is going to allow you to mount a small camera on your shoulder and so that you can use that like a normal shoulder mount camera and it has a lot of options. So to start with what we're going to do is we're going to put a small camera, this is a Panasonic AF100, onto the mount. And so this has a plate right here that's adjustable and we have our plate on the bottom of the camera right here and these just sort of slide together and that clicks in. So there is a safety so you can't accidentally um, have that fly off the mount there. And then to make sure it's totally locked into place there's a little uh, locking mechanism here so once you twist that it is totally locked in and tight. All right, so now when you have your camera on that, um, you also have the option of adding a normal V-mount battery. Now I really like this because it really helps balance the camera. And so without a battery or any kind of weight on the back when you put your camera on your shoulder, it has the tendency to fall forward and we don't want that. And so just a little bit of weight, like one of these big batteries here, when you throw that on the back, once you throw this on here, it is much more balanced. Now you still can't let go, but you can a little bit. And so if you have to do something like focus or something, you're not fighting with your camera. So it's pretty well balanced. Now there's all kinds of other adjustments that you can make. A lot of people like uh, shooting with the LCD panel out. Well, I like to shoot with the eyepiece because when you're shooting outside, uh, the sun will just wash that out. So I have this adjusted pretty darn close so I can get that right in there where my eye is and then I can really make sure it is nice and solid. Now, uh, what we've learned is that on this uh, rig right here, this Tronics rig, if you just push just slightly on the handles, well, that pushes that against the back uh, of the brace there, and that is really solid. And you don't have to push very hard, and you get this really solid mechanism for getting shot. So if you're moving back and forth, up and down, you can do that and look through and you really have a nice solid mechanism. Now let's say we do want to move this forward. Well it's pretty simple to do. Right underneath here on the bracket there's this uh, small screw. It's right here. Now if I loosen that up, so we have it tightened down pretty good so I'll loosen that. Now this whole thing then is able to slide forward. So when we slide that forward, now our handles are a little bit farther forward. We can pop this out. And now, same thing, I can just put some slight pressure on this and I can use the LCD panel. So it works either way you'd like. Uh, the other thing that's really nice, I'm going to bring this back here so I have it uh, set against my eye. So I'll bring this guy back here just a little bit. And I've got it where my eye is. Let's say that I'm a little bit shorter or taller. Um, what I can do is there's another adjustment here. And that's this little uh, dial right here. And what that dial does, it allows me to move the camera up or down. So I've got this set looking through here. Maybe it's a little bit too low. Well, I can just take that right there, loosen it, and now I can adjust this camera higher or let it go down lower. And you can see the way this is built, you can do this by yourself with a lighter camera. So I can move this up or down. There's another adjustment as well. And this is this adjustment right on the top here. And that allows you, if you're maybe a left-handed shooter, well, you can shift this to the other side. Um, and so this allows you to center or move this left and right. And so lots of different adjustments. There's even one more adjustment that I haven't talked about, and that's these handles. So I can just loosen them up, and then the handles can slide in or out. And so you can really customize this. So if you like to have your hands a little bit closer together, well, you can do that. I like to have mine a little bit farther apart. So I'll slide that out. So there is your bracket. Let me show you one other thing because again, portability is really important on a rig like this. So I'll really quickly take this off. I'm releasing the safety mechanism here. Take that off, I'll take my battery off. Let's say I have to throw this into a bag. Well, what I'll do is I'll just take this uh, adjustment right here that allows me to move this left and right. It also allows me to fold this up. So I can fold that in like that. And I can move my handle in and you can see that really quickly I've got this into a pretty small mount and if I wanted to I could also loosen up this uh, bolt right here where this would become horizontal so I can get this to be really small 
and then throw that right into a camera bag so it's very, very portable. Now there are a couple other things that we need to talk about really quickly. Normally when you're using a small rig like this, not only do you have a battery on the back, but you normally are using some kind of microphone, wireless microphone system. So this not only has a V-mount battery, it also has a three stud plate for different types of batteries, and it also has an optional wireless mic receiver plate. So that would come off here, so you can put your receiver on there, and so that would then just uh, plug right into your camera. And so you've got all your batteries, you've got your receivers, everything right on your shoulder, and it works really well. And the other thing that's really nice about this is if you don't need the battery or the receiver, well, you can get this same bracket with no plates on the back, and it's about $100 less. So you can save yourself some money if you don't need all those extras. So there you have it. It's the Switronics HDV Pro V camera shoulder support with the V mount plate, and this one is $330. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. Remember, if you want to uh, see more product reviews, just go to the Adorama Learning Center. And if you have questions about products, you can send those to me to askmark at adorama.com. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.